Good morning, everybody. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. We got a smaller load today, and uh, this normally it's filled and heaping. But uh, we cut a bunch of trees that were in the way over there and um, helped somebody out and got firewood for our trouble. So that works out. Can you reach that gas can? smell nice and dry too you want them down first yeah. this is gonna be hard they're heavy oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this um, we're gonna barely be able to get this down I know, right? Uh, this one would be nice up front. All right. Down. Down? Yeah. How are we going to get it in? Oh, we have to roll it in. All right, help me roll it so we don't hit the taillight. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was the worst of it. Might keep that piece for landscaping. It has a nice hole in the middle, it makes a good plant stand. Look at that, perfect for burning. Well, we're filling up again every day. We'll stack some and then fill more up. Stack some and fill more up. You can see I did quite a bit after dark last night. Stacked it pretty high and uh, up in here and all the way across and up in here. Feels good. Uh, when we look back now, I think we have a better wood pile than ever. We're getting it now. This year is gonna be the best ever. And we're going to keep going. Hey everybody. I am working on a home security system to improve the systems that we have in place. This is just one of many. I've got some tiny, tiny, tiny little circuits here. And I'm not going to um, talk about this much on this channel. 
Uh, it's all on my electronics channel. But this is really cool. For those who are interested, I just want to tell you what I'm doing today with my time. By the way, this is solar powered. All right, off grid power. All my work I'm doing here. This is, um, you know, those touch on and off lights. A lot of people are familiar with. You touch the base of the lamp and it turns the light on and off. Well, this here is the electronic device that turns your lamp on and off, and there's a touchpad. And literally, if someone or something touches our, the idea will be, instead of turning a, a, a light on and off, somebody's going to be turning an alarm on and off. So instead of somebody turning on the light, they'll literally be turning on the alarm. That is awesome, but there won't be an off which is what this little guy is going to do. But all that's on my electronics channel. It's all going to be self-contained unit. And solar panels are in the mail. They're on the way. Really, really going to be awesome. But this is almost a whole thing right here. A really incredibly cool improvement to our home security. Um, it's really cool. You'll be able to touch on, but you won't be able to touch off. But check that out. That'll be over there. Just want to share what I'm doing today because this is taking up the majority of my time today. And, uh, well, this channel is about what I'm doing all day, every day. And it is Off The Grid. Hey, everybody. It's another day. I'm not going to show you just processing firewood all day, every day. So our, our pile is getting longer, though. But we hauled in another truckload today. I can't even get up there to show you now. It's uh, it's all the way up to the fence now. It's a lot. I love that smell. It's a sweet smell of fresh cut oak. I love that. A lot of this is dry and good for this year, and some again is wet. But this is only a part of one tree today. We dropped a big, big tree. And uh, there's probably another truckload left to get. But... <sighs> so our fence line, our wood <laughs> wood fence line, is extending and getting longer. It's um, actually, I don't know if it looks bigger on camera or in real life, but it's not bad. It's a start. I think we have four months of heat here. And when you look at it that way, it's not enough. So we need to square off this end. And then I'm going to put a, I don't know how we're going to do it, because I want to have a wheelbarrow be able to run through here. But we've got two trees in the way. I don't want to cut a tree just to run a wheelbarrow through, so I've got to figure this out. But I want to have space, unless I put another pallet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. See the problem right here? We've got a bottleneck. We can't get anything through. But I'd like to be able to run a wheelbarrow through here with wood to carry on down the line. We're almost to the corner, actually. The, uh, the fence turns right there at that T-post. Is that where I'm looking? I think, yeah, that's the fence where it turns. So we're almost to the back side of Lyle. And... I don't know, it's not that much. But I gotta get some more pallets, get them down, and keep on going. And then we can stack more wood. Um, by the way, last night I did work on the alarms uh, most, of the, most of the afternoon. So I didn't get as much done out here as I wanted. And uh, not a lot of video. It's gonna supplement and help what we have so we know if somebody or something comes, we know where they're coming and that will be a beautiful bonus well guys a lot left to do let's see what today brings I got a package I had to go to the post office and get this one um, it wouldn't fit in our mailbox so let's see what we got here it's from through night let me uh, I've got the camera in my hand so I'm gonna have to open this with my hands off camera and I'll be right back so inside we have a through night TS2 LED self rescue light. Interesting. 
This is different. You're starting to get some very unique things going on. Highlight lamp beads, outdoor sports, emergency maintenance, phone charging. Huh. Well, let me get this open and have a look here. Okay. There we go. I thought I could do that one-handed. That was a piece of packing material went away. Oh, it's heavy. It's solid. I'm going to have to look at the instructions on this one. This one's different. TS2 Survival Light. There's a big button. Oh, wow. Warm white. I'm um, definitely got to look at the instructions. I'll be right back. Okay, well, this is like nothing I've ever seen from Through Night before. This is so cool and unique and different. So I had to really look at the instructions. This pops out. And then I'm like, well, now what do I do? This is a Through Night Emergency Light Power Bank rechargeable battery. 5,000 milliamp hours. 18 watt hours of power. I mean, that is crazy. But then I'm like, well, here's a light on here. Now what? Well, you pop that sideways and it pops out of the USB-C charging port. And there's your, your light. It's a USB light. And so here you can use this as a power bank. There's USB Type-C charging um, port or power bank. It is really unique. And then you've got um, a crazy little cable with everything you can imagine on here for all your different phones. That is so cool. That is really unique. And then on the other end, there's an adapter. And that's for USB-C. Look at that. That is a crazy cable. That's every cable you'll ever need for any of your devices. That is so cool. Now, let's put this back together. It's really neat. So we got this goes on here. Your, oops, I might, there we go. And that works. All right. And then you've got your case. You pop that back in your case. And there's a magnet on the bottom snap it pops in and then you got a magnetic hanging hook you can hang that up in your tent or on your car hood or wherever and it spins this is so unique this is so cool so it's got a convenient carrying case for your chargeable battery rechargeable battery you can take the light off and use it to charge your phones or other devices 18 watt hours is a crazy amount of power in that thing. This is one of the most unique things I've ever seen. I forgot one more feature on this I want to show you. On the top of the battery, there's a little button you can press for three seconds. And it tells you the status of charge that's not blinking. The camera makes it look like it's blinking. That is really cool. The charge status of the battery. There's four LED lights on there. How cool is that? That is really neat. So, how this works, there's multiple modes. You turn it on, and mine happens to be in low. And then you can long press and cycle through to medium and high, which is actually quite bright. Even outdoors, it's quite surprisingly bright. I'm going to bring it back to medium. And then turn it off. And then back on. And you can cycle through your, your modes again. Now your a double press, double tap, will literally give you SOS. So there's th three fast followed by three short and three fast. That's SOS. until And it'll keep doing that for how many hours? 20 hours until you press the button. Pretty cool. Um, on high, it comes on in low, which will last 180 
hours. And then there's medium, which will last 30 hours, which is pretty nice. And then high is even impressive. 11 hours. It's quite impressive on high. That's 118 lumens. So I'll go right ahead and put this through the full field testing, and we'll get a video up on that later. I'm going to get this video up to you now, and uh, then I'm going to carry on with our day and see what we do.